Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Colonial Charter Banished Dunkertown campaign. So I was reading through the wiki and there's very little information about the sawmill. It, it seems to me like it's actually not any more efficient than a regular woodcutter. So you spend 20 steel tools, which is a lot, and all you really gain is three people can work in one building. And I actually almost feel like that's a disadvantage because right now, all of the firewood's made here. People that live over here have to come all the way down to probably this stockpile or wherever the firewood's stored here to come get their firewood. If I instead allow it to be spread out, we, do, we get the same amount of work, overall work done, but it's made closer to each individual home. A third of it could get produced here, a third of it, say, here, put another woodcutter over here, and we have a third for each one. I don't know. It seems to me like... Opportunity cost, you know, like the value of this structure over regular structures is just not there. However, there is some good news. The thing that I spent a, a bunch of time looking at was the different houses. And... I want to build them. So, a log cabin is actually a little bit less efficient than a wooden house, which, as far as, like, heat goes. But they... I don't know. It, there's, it's interesting, the whole upgrade scheme that they've done. But what we want to do is basically just build some large residences. And then upgrade them into mansions. You can have, house families of eight. Big families, lots of kids. Very, very warm, huge storage. And they look fancy. So it looks like if we wanted to build this one, this would be 60 stone. 20 glass and 16 bricks. We could we could do that. And then this is this is what we kind of had determined would be the housing area, but then again, I'm leaning more towards not having communal living. I want them to live where they work. Could build a large residence in the middle of nowhere, but that seems silly. Let's build a large residence near the iron mine, or the coal mine. Maybe near the quarry. Alright, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'll put it here. No. I'll put it here. Okay, well, let's try to build it. We need 20 glass, 20 brick, uh, 16 bricks. And I think we actually have those resources. We've got 17 glass. So we need a little bit more glass. We've got 18 bricks. Okay, uh, what's it going to take to get the glassworks running again? Sand and firewood. Do we have any sand? I don't think so. Zero sand. Alright, let's, um... We're going to make somebody work at the glassworks. He's going to tell me he can't do his job. And we do need to rebuild now the... The guy that gets sand. The, uh... Four house. Okay. Well, I want it to be over here, so. It's not ideal, but it's like the only spot that I can fit here. Alternatively, we could try to put it over here.
Okay, well, um, yeah, it's gonna go here and... Shouldn't affect the sawmill, I don't think. 500 firewood from... From there, compared to these two that were... Well, it needs a whole season, of course. And we didn't, we didn't give it a... We, we didn't have it at the beginning of the year, so... I mean, that's, that's a lot. For very little time. But, it's also got three people working there. I'm gonna go ahead and let them work here, though. Sawmill's nice, but I want one person to go work over there. Kind of spread out our log chopping. Well, it's too bad that we didn't have 20 glass. Just, just right exactly 20 glass. So we could have actually built one large residence. The, the model that they use, like the calculation for efficiency on a house, is kind of strange. They, like, the better the house you build, it has like a warmth value. And in this case, I think the, the mansion's like 140 or 150 or something. Compared to like a wooden house, which is like 60. Shack has less. All, this, all these numbers are hidden from you. Unless you look them up in the game files or you look them up on the wiki. But it kind of makes sense, you know, bigger house is going to be... More efficient with its heating or something. Now to build the mansion, actually upgrade the the house, and I think wasn't it maybe the country house? It might have been the country house that upgrades to the mansion, I forget. But large residence is the most expensive, so we'll assume that that's the biggest best one. I'll try them all out. So once this thing gets built. We should have the option to upgrade it, and we'll make a mon monstrous, monstrous structure where the richest peasants will live. New merchant, what'd you bring me this time? You brought firewood. Nice. Well, <laughs> firewood's not exactly something I need, but okay. Um, we will gladly take your firewood. Or we'll take your iron, rather. Goodbye. Don't you know that this is a firewood town? Like, we should just rename it to Firewood Town. Food's doing okay. Firewood... Could be better. But we're storing... 262 in the trade post. What is that noise? Who is who is building? Are you building right here? I don't see anyone working on it. Somebody's pounding away. Oh, is that the clothier? Could be. How's the stone road coming along? Still building it in reverse order like idiots? I shouldn't. I mean, next time I'll, I'll designate it the right way. And we'll start close to the town and move away, but... That's kind of silly, really. That because I started it here, they're going to go all the way there instead of building it this way and actually having something faster to walk on. Not the best AI in the world. And it's also consuming, like, all of our stone to do this project. Not to mention that country house used some. Or the large residence. Still lacking 42, and we have no one working in the quarry right now. But we do have two people working here. Let's, let's go one less on that, and one person into the quarry. Please don't die. 21 chickens. Bringing the eggs to market. Good job, Stan. 
Appreciate your help. Previous season, 600 firewood. Not bad for a short year. Current season, the sawmill produced logs. Yeah, you can actually see them working in there. That's cool. Actually, like working on the on the thing. All right, let's look at some graphs. Adult population has been stable, or total population. Number of, of adults has come up. Number of children is kind of low right now. Should probably check houses. See if we have a bunch of people that need to make babies. Haven't been able to move out. Yeah, we've got two kids here. Two girls that need to move out. 23 and 19. Got two students that are male. 23 year old girl that needs to move out. Well, we were building a house here, but we need the stuff. Um... I had another house over here. Hold on. Stan's a 37-year-old uh, herdsman male. Why, why aren't you grabbing the 19-year-old laborer? Why don't you get married? 37, 19? Sounds fine. Heck, Stan was, or, uh, Beeman was sleeping with his mom when he was like 10. that house going. I feel like the sooner we just start making the biggest best house, the better. Fewer families, more inbreeding. You actually see the little baby chickens. Oh, right. Still waiting on this thing to get constructed. And it's low priority compared to the roads. Because of the order that we designated it. The roads are complete to about here. Got laborers, but we're not doing much. Bring me wood and stone. Well, there's a trickle coming in. Tiniest little bit of stone. Two. <laughs> Two whole stone. You're an educated stone cutter with a steel tool. It's about as good as it gets, as far as efficiency goes. First time in forever we've had over 2,000 food. Cool. Alright, let's bump the storage back up to 625. And then we'll just kind of hold tight and hope that we actually don't need to spend it on anything. Try to get a couple thousand firewood. Let's bump the fuel limit up to like 2,500. I want, well... Heck, let's just make it 5,000. I want lots of fuel. That's one problem we don't want to have again. Oh, we will. We probably will. I didn't say we wouldn't. It's just we don't want to. 
Stone bridge is getting getting a lot of use. Did I tell you guys to gather this iron? I don't I don't remember doing that. I thought I told you to get the trees. Where are you going? Stone first, huh? Chantal. I don't remember telling you to do that. I thought I told you to get the trees. And then I told you to get stone. Make up your mind. Pretty warm out. 29, wow. That is really hot. Isn't it? It's like 80? 85? Seems pretty warm to me. I wish I could get them to like prioritize a specific job a little bit better. It doesn't seem like doing this increased priority does anything like on buildings build that building now do it priority level 9000 So two two guys have produced 324 so far, and this guy 192. Probably working more frequently because he lives here. He lives right there. These guys live way the hell over there. We need more homes over here. At least the fishermen are fairly close by, but... We'll bring these things operational soon. That'll give us a lot more wood and food. If they ever finish this road. It doesn't really feel like it's come much further back, but it must they must be getting a little bit of work done. Here and there. I mean, they're almost to the corner. And then they'll extend it all the way back this way. And then they're going to do this. And then they're going to work on this section. And by them, I mean the whole two builders in the entire sieve. But with the laborers that we have, we'll probably get some work done. Trading post has its 625 firewood, and we still have extra. We look at inventory items in homes. 600 firewood is already in the homes, not counted as part of the spare. Of course, it's late summer, so they probably haven't stocked up for the winter yet. That's not very much firewood, really. Okay, cool. Let's take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you again soon.